Does your workplace have a problem with glare? If you have multiple sources of light, you can use a luminance meter to measure the intensity of light over time from each source to determine the daylight glare probability. There are several scales to determine daylight glare probability. In the US, we adhere to the Illuminating Engineering Society, or IES, standard. Values indicating glare range from 10 to 28 and are affected by sources of light, angles of light, and contrast between work surfaces and adjacent surfaces. The Konica Minolta LS100 meter can measure up to 299,900 candelas per square meter. Some key parts of the LS100 meter include the power switch, the calibration selector switch, the measuring mode selector switch, the response speed selector switch, the measuring trigger, and the external display. We are in the entryway of a library. This room has light from northwest facing Claire Stories, a southwest facing curtain wall, a northeast facing curtain wall, and LED overhead lights, some of which are daylight harvesting. To take a baseline measurement, point the meter at a gray card that reflects 18% of the light hitting it. Hold the measuring trigger down for about two seconds until the luminance value shows up. This value is in candelas per square meter. Units of light can also be displayed in foot lamberts by selecting the switch under the battery cover. Record the value, then aim the lens at the wall near the window, turn the focusing ring until the wall is in focus, record this value, and aim the lens at the desk or workspace. Determine the lighting ratio between luminance of the room surfaces and luminance of the task. For comfortable working conditions, the lighting ratio should not be higher than 10 to 1 or lower than 0.1 to 1. Now I'm aiming the lens at the overhead light so we can compare the amount of light coming from the window and the overhead light. To see how much light is emitted from the computer screen, aim the lens at the screen. Make sure the whole screen is visible in the measurement area and hold the trigger. The optimum luminance of a computer screen is between 200 and 500 candelas per square meter when used indoors under illuminance of 50 foot candles or below. If too much light is hitting the computer screen, it needs to be brighter for visibility, which could be damaging to health. The monitor may need to be angled so that less light is reflected from it, and the brightness may need to be turned down. Multiple light sources may cause glare, especially for individuals working at computers. If you can remove glare from your workplace, you can better support the health of your employees and potentially save on lighting. For more information about the Energy Resource Library and the Integrated Design Lab, visit idlboise.com.